So not so long ago, we published our OneDrive update video. If you've already watched it, you know we absolutely love OneDrive's collaboration features, especially if you're already using Microsoft tools, but it's missing some important privacy features, which I'm gonna get into in this video. We've tested just about every cloud storage service you can think of over the years, and today I wanna share three really solid alternatives to OneDrive that actually offer what OneDrive is missing. We'll cover everything from security and privacy to features, productivity tools, performance and pricing. And by the end of this video, I'll share which one stood out as our top pick. So stick around. Coming in at number three is iStrive. Let's talk about privacy first. Now, yes, they offer client-side encryption. You get to choose which files you want to encrypt, but it's only available on paid plans. They've also implemented two-factor authentication options. You can use Google Authenticator, hardware keys like YubiKey, or SMS verification if you're on a paid plan. They're GDPR compliant, and they've got servers in three locations, the UK, Germany, and the US. In terms of data collection, they only collect the basics, like your email address, if you contact them or sign up for their newsletter, Letter. They don't use any third-party tracking or analytics software, not even Google Analytics. No tracking means no one's monitoring how you use their service. Now let's talk about what it's actually like to use iStrive day to day. I have to say iStrive has a really intuitive interface design. They've got this modern look using gradients and cool blues and greens. They've got a search bar right at the top so you can easily find your files. And there's a new button in the top right corner. And iStrive is available on Windows, Mac and Linux, mobile apps for iOS and Android, and also offers a separate virtual drive application. Think of the virtual drive like having all your cloud files appear right in your file like Explorer, but without taking up any space on your computer. For mobile users, the app lets you automatically upload your photos and videos. It's a minimalist app, which is what you want on your cell phone. You can interact with your files as well and share them if you need to. There's also a built-in media player for streaming your videos and music directly from the cloud. And sure, most of us use Spotify these days or iTunes to listen to our favorite tunes, but this feature can be convenient for quickly accessing media files directly from the cloud or if you have an old music collection that's not available on Spotify. Let's talk about collaboration and sharing your files. You can share files via email or create public links and paid users get some extra perks like password protection and expiration days for shared files. And one neat feature is the request files option where you can create a link for others to upload files to your folder. Unfortunately, iStrive falls short on integration with third party apps. There is no integration with productivity suites like Microsoft 365 or built in document editing like Google Drive offers. So if you need to collaborate on documents in real time, you'll probably want to look at other options. And by the way, if collaboration is really important to you, I've linked a full guide to the best cloud storage services for teamwork in the description below. So do check that out. Let's talk speed. We ran our usual speed test from Dublin, a five gigabyte folder, 100 megabits connection for both uploads and downloads. And honestly, it's fast like really fast. It averaged just slightly over seven minutes for both uploads and downloads, close to the limit of our connection speed. Our testing puts it right out there with the best of like Google Drive, Dropbox, and pCloud, and both uploads and downloads took about seven minutes. We did see iStrive use a high amount of our computer's memory, considerably higher than other services we tested. So this can lead to a little bit of lag and other apps slowing down when using the cloud service. But then on the other hand, you're not constantly uploading files. So this might be just a temporary thing. Okay, so pricing, obviously a very important point. Their free plan is pretty decent. You get 10 gigabytes of storage just for signing up. And oh, if uh, you want to see how this stacks up against other free cloud storage options, I've done a whole video comparing all the best free options, which you can check out down in the description box below as well. All right, so for paid plans, the light plan gets you 100 gigabytes. If you need more, there's the pro one with one terabyte. And now there's a pro three with three terabytes. And yeah, I'm giving you the two year prices here because honestly, that's where you get the best deal. Now, they also offer lifetime plans and basically pay one a fee and the cloud storage is yours to use forever. Now, obviously, as long as the company stays in business, at least. They've got different sizes, 512 gigabytes, two terabytes, and 10 terabytes. You can add storage later with their stack add-ons if you ever need more space than say, let's say 10 terabytes. And if you're a video producer, 10 terabytes, does sound like a lot, but it fills up very quickly with these bigger 
cameras with high resolution sensors. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Coming in at number two is pCloud. pCloud has some excellent features and also some excellent security features. Actually, we rated it so highly that it made our list of the most secure cloud storage options, and I'll drop that link also in the description box below for you to see. Now, pCloud does offer client-side encryption. They call it pCloud encryption, and it adds an additional layer of encryption to your pCloud storage, meaning you have full control over who can access your files, but unfortunately, it comes at an extra cost. And honestly, <sighs> That's pretty disappointing, especially since the other services that we have on the list offer this at no extra cost. It costs around $5 a month extra for peak load encryption or around $4 a month if you pay for one year upfront. On a slightly more positive tone, peak load Business users do get it for free. Obviously, the business plans are a bit more affordable and you can check out the business plans on their homepage. I've linked it down in the description box below. This doesn't mean that your files aren't safe without the encryption folder. Files that aren't kept there are still protected by AES 256 bit encryption and the TLS protocol while in transit. You can also set up two-factor authentication to help protect your account even more. So it's pretty hard to get to your files anyway, but zero knowledge adds this additional peace of mind in my book. I dug into pCloud's privacy policy. It states that pCloud collects basic data like your IP address, browser type, operating system, and some usage analytics. They share data with payment providers and like it's, it's pretty standard stuff. And they use some third-party services too. Like in their words, they monitor how well their system is performing, but they're clear about only sharing anonymous data for these performance checks, which, well, we gotta believe them at this point. When it comes to server locations, pCloud gives you two choices, the US and Luxembourg. This choice matters because the US is part of an intelligence sharing alliance called the Five Eyes Alliance, which includes the US, the UK, Canada, New Zealand, and Australia. These countries have agreements that allow their law enforcement and intelligence agencies to share data and potentially access user information in their territories. If your files are in the US, you can request to have your data moved to Luxembourg, but you'll need to pay around $20 to do so. But you can also choose Luxembourg for your server locations when you sign up. It's a bit of a gray area if this actually has any privacy benefit if you're a US citizen or live outside Luxembourg, but I still recommend storing your files over there on their, on their US servers, because usually it's a little bit faster. If you're on the business plan and you invite users to your pCloud account, if the person has a pCloud account, it needs to match the account that you have in your business plan. So basically, if your business is located located in Luxembourg and pCloud, users also need to be located, needs to choose Luxembourg as a server location. Otherwise, it will not be compatible. You will not be able to invite a US pCloud user into a Luxembourg uh, data center, so to speak. Now for the fun part, the features. pCloud has some cool features worth talking about. They offer a virtual drive like Ice Drive, and instead of syncing everything to your computer like most services, it creates this virtual drive that doesn't take up any space. Their media player is a standout feature. You can stream your music and videos directly from the cloud, create playlists, shuffle songs, and even loop albums. They've got a code integration if you're into that, and there's no limit on file sizes, so it's a really good solution for video creators as well. Now, collaboration. There is no built-in document editor, but you can create text files and make some basic edits on PDF files on iOS, like adding text or signatures. You won't find any built-in integrations with Microsoft Office or Google Workspace. The basic sharing stuff is all there, though. You can share through links or email, set passwords, and add expiration dates. They also let you make shorter links. They do warn the these aren't quite as secure though because they're easier to guess due to being shorter and less complex. Also, you cannot share files stored in the pCloud encryption folder unless you are on a business plan. And also, you have the ability to create upload folders, which is perfect because people can then send files directly into that upload folder which is very convenient if you are a freelancer and um, you work with other parties that need to send you files. This is the perfect integration, so your workflow is very, very smooth, especially if you deal with clients. Time to talk about speed. We put pCloud through our standard speed test, and it's fast, although not quite as fast as iDrive, and we're looking at average upload times of around 
8 minutes and download times of around 7 minutes. It also uses a low amount of CPU and memory, so multitasking is no issue while sending files to the cloud or downloading them to your computers. On desktop, pCloud uses block level sync. When you edit a file, instead of re-uploading the whole thing, it only uploads the parts you changed, and this results in faster sync speeds and better functionality. So, if you're someone who constantly works with large files, this is very good. We're talking syncing changes in seconds, where full re-upload might take minutes or even hours. Now let's talk pricing. Pcloud's free plan starts you off with 10 gigabytes of storage, which is pretty generous. Now, for paid plans, they keep it simple. They've got two main options. Premium gets you 500 gigabytes, and Premium Plus jumps to two terabytes. They also offer lifetime plans. You can get 500 gigabytes, two terabytes for life, or if you need more space, there's even a 10 terabyte option. They've got family plans too. You can choose between two terabyte or 10 terabyte to share with your family. And I've got very nice discounts in the description box below. So if you click on those links, you'll get to a special price that is only for CloudWords viewers. So do check them out. And finally, my number one pick is Sync.com. They give you client-side encryption on all their plans, and I mean all of them, even the free ones. And trust me, that's not something you see very often. They also offer something unique. Most providers who offer client-side encryption leave you completely out of luck if you forget your password. Sync.com has actually thought this through. If you've got the desktop app installed, you can reset your password right there. There's also email recovery as an option. Let's dive into Sync's privacy policy. They've laid out everything in what they call their 10 privacy principles, and honestly, it's one of the clearest privacy policies I've seen. They're based in Canada, which puts your data under PIPEDA regulations, giving you a lot of control of how your data is managed and exactly what companies can process. And if you're in Europe, they are fully GDPR compliant too. Now, they do collect some basic stuff like IP addresses and access times, but this isn't linked to your personal information. The only time they'll share your data without your consent is if they're legally required to. But with client side encryption, it's impossible for anyone, even the authorities, to see the contents of your files. Moving on to features. Sync.com is available on Windows and Mac OS, but it is not available at this time on Linux. They say it's on their roadmap though, and the interface follows that familiar Dropbox style setup. You get a sync folder on your computer and a system tray icon for quick access, but the web interface has this quirk that might be annoying for you. You can't really drag and drop files between folders. Instead, you have to use menus for virtually everything. Their file versioning is actually pretty impressive. Free users get a month of version history and paid users get up to a year. And none of those old versions count against your storage quota. There is absolutely no file size limit, making it great for video storage. And pro users can use native audio and video playback on iOS or Android. You can access those files even when you're not connected to the internet. Simply mark them as favorites within the app. Sync also has some nice built-in features for collaboration. They've got Microsoft 365 integration. You can preview, open, and edit your documents using Office Mobile. When you edit your documents live on the web, all your changes are saved back to sync.com. The Office integration provides all of the standard formatting features. However, captions, formatting options for bibliographies, and smart art aren't available. Your Microsoft Docs are even more protected with sync thanks to features like file revision history and deleted file recovery. You can restore previous versions of your documents at any time even if deleted. But there are some limitations worth noting. For sharing links, free users can only set passwords. Paid users can get the full suite of controls, though download limits, expiration dates, and email notifications when someone views or downloads your files. Also, they've integrated with Slack. If your team uses Slack, you can share any sync.com file just by typing slash sync in a channel Simple and pretty handy if that's part of your business workflow. All right, let's talk about speed. We put sync.com through our standard speed test, but uploads and downloads were slow, considerably slower than the other two options. Uploads took about 10 minutes on average, and downloads, well, they were even slower, averaging around 15 minutes. This is certainly an area sync.com needs to look to improve. While these speeds are not very impressive, sync.com still tops our list thanks to its high level of security and privacy. And unlike pCloud and iStrive, 
It gives you these features on every plan, even the free one. And finally, let's talk about what Sync.com is going to cost you. The monies. <laughs> Their free plan starts you off with five gigabytes of storage. Not the most generous one out there, but you can get up to 25 gigabytes by jumping through some hoops like referring friends and installing their mobile apps. Now, for paid plans, there's a personal plan with 200 gigabytes, but the real value is in their solo plans. Solo Basic gives you two terabytes. Solo Professional jumps up to six terabytes. For businesses, they've got the team plans with a minimum of three users. And they also offer unlimited plans. Each plan works out cheaper than all of the competitors, including less privacy-focused solutions like Google Drive, Dropbox, and yes, OneDrive as well. I left also links to sync.com in the description box below, and we have special discounts for our CloudWords readers and viewers. So do make sure to check it out if sync.com seems interesting to you. So yes. The slow speeds are a bit annoying, but for the privacy, with some useful productivity tools thrown in, you can't go wrong with Sync.com. It really is the best value for money. I'll leave a link again in the description box so you can easily sign up with our CloudWords discount. So there you have it, our top three OneDrive alternatives. If I had to pick just one, it would be Sync.com, but pCloud and IceDrive are really good options too, especially if you value speed and performance. And what matters most to you in a cloud storage service, is it speed, is it security, or is it features? That really dis is decisive for your decision at the end. Let me know in the comments below. And hey, if you found this comparison helpful, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. And thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.